When we investigate an independent variable that can be manipulated, the standard approach is to expose different groups of participants to the different levels of the independent variable. We call this a between-subjects design, and the independent variable a between-subjects factor, or simply a between-factor. In some cases, it's possible to let each participant experience all levels of the independent variable. When participants are exposed to all conditions, we refer to this as a within-subjects design. The independent variable is now called a within-subjects factor, or just a within-factor. Suppose we investigate the effectiveness of an experimental drug in reducing migraine attacks at different dosages. Our participants are migraine patients. A standard approach would be to assign patients randomly to receive a low, medium, or high dosage of the drug for one week. But we could also choose to let each participant experience all three dosages, one after the other, for a total of three weeks. Within factors can be combined with other within factors or between factors in a factorial design. For example, in addition to the within factor dosage, we could also investigate the factor gender. Of course, the participants can't be exposed to both levels of the variable gender, so gender remains a between factor. But it can be combined with a within factor dosage. A group of men is exposed to all three dosages, and so is a group of women. This allows us to investigate whether different dosages of the drug are more effective for women than for men. Now, we could have investigated the independent variables, dosages, and gender using a between-between design, with different men and women, each in different dosage conditions. But a within factor is more efficient for statistical, but also for practical reasons. If you need 40 participants in each condition, it might be easier to find just 40 people who are willing to participate for three weeks, than it is to find 120 people willing to participate for one week. The concept of a within factor is closely related to the terms repeated measure design and longitudinal design. Both terms refer, obviously, to studies where the dependent variable is measured repeatedly. In a within subjects design, the same participants are measured on the dependent variable after being exposed to each level of the independent variable. Otherwise, we wouldn't know what the effect of each level or condition is. The term repeated measures design is used as a synonym for a within subjects design, but it's also used to refer to more complex designs with at least one within factor and possibly one or more between factors. The term longitudinal design refers to studies that measure the same variables repeatedly, but over a long period of time. We're talking months, even years or decades. The term longitudinal design usually refers to correlational studies, where no independent variables are manipulated. But the term does include experimental or quasi-experimental studies that succeed in long-term manipulation of independent variables. Such studies are rare, though. So a longitudinal study repeatedly measures variables over a long period. Repeated measure designs also measure repeatedly, but run shorter and refer to studies with manipulated independent variables, where there is at least one within factor and possibly one or more between factors. The term within subjects design is generally used to indicate a design consisting of within factors only.